Hey, this is Matt from Mariachio Bronx in the Bronx, and you're watching Ambi. Peace. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Matt from the Bronx and Mariachi El Bronx. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's Hello. up? Hello. Um, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you so much for joining oh, me. Oh, of course. You're now doing this little run three date tour with Clutch. We're on night two in Toronto tonight. Yeah. How's it going over? Oh, it's great. I mean, you know, it's like, it's a good way to end the year. It's like, you, you know, every year, kind of New Year's is just kind of a, a cluster of, you know, things that aren't really going to pan out. So... We, we were super stoked to get these shows, and it's been fun so far. Last night was awesome, and I know tonight's going to be crazy, so we're stoked. Before you hit this tour up, you did something really cool, which was you would actually open for yourselves. So Mariachi yeah. would open the show, <laughs> yeah. then the Bronx would perform <laughs> yeah. afterwards. And I love yeah. how, no matter which band you're performing with, the shows are so energetic. So what was it like performing back-to-back? Yeah. -back? It was awesome. It's, it's a lot of work, though, I'll be honest with you. But it was so <laughs> fun because it was so special, you know? Like, the shows were just... Uh, so much different than anything else we'd done before. And, uh, you know, the crowd really loved it. Just, you know, band playing twice and just two d completely different sounds. And, um, you know, it was something really cool. We did it, like, all the way across the U.S. through most of Europe. You know, it was pretty intense, you know, but it was a blast. For a lot of the mariachi shows, you guys are wearing the really cool charo suits. Yeah, yeah, And you guys yeah. absolutely rock those. But I find it funny because for the other ones, you're wearing just a t-shirt, sometimes no shirt at all. So it's almost yeah. like streams of one another. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you got to keep the mariachi classy, you know. The Bronx is more <laughs> of the caveman mentality, you know. Uh, you know, club it over the head, drag it back type thing. But, uh, you know, it's different with El Bronx. El Bronx has got an element that's, you know, a little bit better than that. Is it hot in those El Bronx suits? It can be. It can be. Those things are, uh, I don't know. It's like people, uh, like we get asked that a lot. And it's like, if, if it's like, if it's really hot outside, yeah. then the suits are hot. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like when we, like those things are just almost second skin for us. So it's like, I don't, you know, I don't really feel anything but great when we put those things on. There's an interview I saw from a little bit back, and you were talking about her at a London show, and somebody ended up getting an eye pretty much cut open. Yeah. What happened there? Cause I've always heard this, the point of it, but never the actual story. No, yes, yeah, someone got an eye poked out at one of our early shows at the Barfly in Camden, and uh, it was like, I, I don't know if it came, like, I don't know if it was rescued or what. But I saw uh, the photos uh, from afterwards, and the guy just had this giant thing on his eye, and it was really, really bad. And it was super gnarly. We had to like kind of stop mid-song as it was happening. I didn't really know it was happening until the end of the show. So it kind of went along that way. But it was uh, probably the single greatest wound we've had at a Bronx show. <laughs> you know, I mean, Nothing we've stopped it yet. Yeah, we've had we've had some good ones, but yeah, that's definitely that's top shelf. I like how you definitely try to make your shows different. You've even had a magician open for you before. In the past. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's you know, that's why you know we we love these shows. I mean, it's like you know, props to Clutch for putting together a bill that's different. You know, so we kind of thrive off that stuff. You know, we love it. It's like having the having the magician. Our friend Christopher Wonder, it, that's who the magician was, and it was so great. I mean, just the looks in people's faces. You know, they come to a show and they don't really expect to see that. And uh, anytime you can pull stuff like that off, it, it makes it so much worth it because, one, it, it's cool for us to be able to do something different, but it's also cool for the audience to kind of, you know, get something unexpected, you know, so it's pretty cool. It's a very exciting time for the band because Bronx 5 is in the works. Bronx 5 is in the yes. works. Yes, so what can you tell us about that? Because I almost feel like it's a big secret and I want to unravel it a little bit. It, it is, it is a, a bit of a big secret, you know. It's like we all we always do this thing where we always, you know, we always say, okay, we're going to not do shows while we're like writing, recording. And then, of course, you know, just as we start picking up steam, we're doing these shows. But I like I just uh, just did like five or six songs on, on vocals, just demo stuff bef right before we left. Um, we got like seven, eight songs right now, so we're going to finish writing in January and then record in uh, February with our friend Rob Schnaff up in L.A., and uh, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited for it. The songs are great. And awesome. Yeah, it's going to be killer. When it comes to the music, you have said how the Bronx is more so where you channel the anger, and El Bronx is where you like to just bring in all the love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do you find one easier to write for than the other? Uh, the, the, no, they both have like their, it's, it's kind of a song by song basis thing. It's like, they both have like, 
you know, uh, the songs for record that just come instantly. You know what I mean? Like they just, you know, lyrics come, melodies come, music come, everything is just like it just happens. And there's certain songs that take forever to come together. You know, and it's like those songs aren't necessarily better or worse than the ones that come automatic, but they're all kind of different. And that happens in both bands, you know. So it's just kind of a, it's a song by song basis, I think. The band clearly can tackle different genres extremely well. But if there were to be a third Bronx, what would it be? Oh, man, I think it would have to be hip hop. I mean, oh, okay. Joby and I are pretty legitimate rappers. We, uh, we got a couple hidden singles that probably never see the light of air until unless something <laughs> terrible happens to us, in which case somehow when like, tragedy strikes, all the bad stuff comes up, you know what I mean? So hopefully I could stay alive so my hip-hop career doesn't you know, surface. <laughs> Joby and I, we've done a couple tracks like on tour where we're just hammered and just rapping and they're it's it's beautiful we have like now i really two, want to hear these oh it's there it's amazing it's absolutely amazing uh yeah and there's like it, it, when ray was in el bronx he was good at like you know making beats on the computer and stuff like that so we it's it's legitimate it's real it's it's something else too so if it were to be hip-hop rather than it being the bronx or el bronx be duh da it's gotta be the bronx <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really want this to come out. Now. Oh yeah, 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 yes. yeah. <clears throat> maybe, maybe we'll do like a record store day seven inch or something. That'd be you know? amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Bronx toured with her buds and violence Soho earlier. Yes, on. yes. Love those guys. But before the whole tour happened, you interviewed one another, and you had some pretty interesting <laughs> questions for them. So to yeah. spin things around, I wanted to ask you the questions you asked the Soho boys. Okay. All right. Go so ahead. the first one was, do you believe in aliens? Yes, I do, 100%. I don't quite know how it configures or who they are, where they're from, but they're out there somewhere, for yeah. sure. Another one you asked them is, would you rather be executed or do life in prison? Executed, for sure. Prison's one of my big fears. Okay. You know, because I, I dabble and we all kind of dabble in this weird kind of lifestyle where you're, you kind of never really know. You're always kind of one step away from, like, living under the pier or, like, going to jail or you know just like something like that you know you just you can't you always feel it in the back of your head you know and i always think like man if i had like you know if things got weird and all of a sudden i was like looking at like 45 years in jail i'm like come on no, i don't know do no it. way no way <laughs> I'm, i need to be free you know you can't cage me so i'd yeah i don't know yeah and if it got real bad and i had death row you know kill me get me out <laughs> get me out and the last one you asked, which I had to ask you, was would you rather fight or fuck your bandmates? Ooh, yeah, that's a tough one. That's a good <laughs> question, though, huh? It's a good question. I, I would have to say fight. You know, well, I, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, I'd have to say fight. Yeah, it's, it's the, if it was like love making to the band, maybe I would be, but it's the, it's the, it's the F word. I can't really get that can't sort of. With that. Yeah, that's that's something I no one should ever think about. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, yeah, I, I forgot about those questions. Those yeah. are real doozies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, definitely fight. All yeah, right. yeah. Well, I enjoyed how on your Facebook about the only thing that's there is tacos. Yeah. As far as things that you guys like, so being from yeah. LA, you're pretty much in the holy grail of taco trucks. So. Yeah, Mexican food is yeah. is my jam. You know, I was talking to someone in New Jersey about it uh, the other day. It was basically like, you know, it's like pizza on the East Coast is like Mexican food on the West Coast, <clears throat> and it's I mean it's the greatest thing ever. I was born and raised on it, and you know, everywhere we go, I look for Mexican food first. <laughs> What's your favorite Mexican food dish? Uh, probably just uh. I love ceviche. Ceviche is good. Um, I love, you know, it's crazy. So I used to eat meat. I don't eat meat anymore. It's been like two, three years. But uh, tacos, I still just love potato tacos. I used to love carnitas at tacos. Little, oh, God, so good. <laughs> tacos are the best. Bean and cheese burritos, best. Can't beat it. Uh, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Well, just to wrap things up, I want to bring it back to the fans. Is there anything yeah. you want to leave with all of those who will be viewing? Uh, I just want to say, you know, uh, my mom is Canadian, you know, and uh, she's from Nova Scotia, you know, so I'm very excited to be back uh, in Canada. And Bronx and El Bronx doesn't get up here nearly enough, and we're working on putting together a full tour uh, of Canada in 2017 with the new record. So 
we'll be we'll be back for sure and uh, i just want to say thanks to everyone for hanging in there with us appreciate the music appreciate all that stuff so thank you guys that's awesome we can't wait to have you back yeah hell yeah <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, Matt. Of course, thank you. It's my pleasure. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time. Adios.